Okay, let's now have a look at the results of our mixed design ANOVA. Uh, first of all, the within subject variable is dominant and non-dominant reaction time. The between subject factor is whether you're firstborn or not. Basic descriptive statistics, we did a better job earlier because we got uh, skinness and kurtosis. Box of boxes M is an assumption uh, and we want it to be non-significant. It is, so we'll move on. We are going to oops, ignore multivariate tests. There is no issue with, multi, uh, with test of sphericity. Uh, in fact, there's no result because we only have two levels of our within subject variable. So we can assume sphericity sphericity assumed. Uh, these are the within subject effects, so the main effect for hand, which hand are you using, is highly significant. It accounts for approximately 28% of the variance in reaction times. The interaction between hand and birth order is significant at a critical value of 0.05 and it explains about 5.5% of the variance in reaction times. We then go down to uh, Levine's test. That's another assumption. It's non-significant, so we can proceed. And firstborn or birth order is not a significant effect. It explains about 1% of the variance. There's our marginal means but we've done a better job earlier with looking at uh, those. There's the profile, well the first profile plot, and it looks very much like the line graph we drew earlier. And um, so on this graph, the main effect for hand is the distance between those lines. The interaction is that these lines are not parallel, and we didn't have a main effect between firstborn overall reaction times and subsequent born overall reaction times. Uh, that's the line plot dr drawn in a different way. There's no need for follow-up tests because this was a two by two analysis. Um, we simply can tell from our means which group is larger than, than which other group. The puzzle perhaps is to explain the interaction and we can explain that in several different ways, but one way of explaining it is that this seems to be a, a slightly deviant data point. We would have expected these are um, dominant hand, not firstborn people. We probably would have expected that if there was no interaction to be slower. So the dominant hand of subsequent born children is particularly fast, faster than we would expect uh, according to just birth order and hand alone. That may be because uh, younger children are better at fending off the attacks of older children, so their dominant hand gets, gets a bit faster. That's one possible explanation.